All right, I wanted to go over the theme options panel real quick. Uh, just an overview. So if we go under uh, white noise, if we go under theme options, it's under appearance, theme options. We have our options panel, and this just controls uh, most of the options throughout the theme. So for, insul for instance, if you want to change the text in the footer uh, or that announcement message text, it's all done right here. If you scroll down more under the basic tab, you also get read more and all the buttons that you can change. Uh, you can hide the announcement bar if you want just by the click of a button and clicking save. Uh, let's demo that. So we no longer have the options bar at the top. Really cool. Um, so under theme options, that's the basic tab. You can just read all the descriptions or play around as you go on home page. Uh, we hit on all of these options uh, on the creating a home page. It's pretty self-explanatory. Same thing with the portfolio and contact. You can just change the number of posts in the portfolio pages, etc. All done there. Then under social, um, you can display the social icons on the contact page by the click of a button. And you just type in your links and all that kind of stuff right here and click save. So let's go ahead and turn those on. Type in, uh, we'll just start with uh, one Facebook link and one Twitter link. Click our save options. And then if we go to our contact page, we have our buttons and our text. So it's very easy to use. Then we have appearance, which has most, the bulk of the options. And you can turn off the responsive layout if you want. Uh, uh, I don't foresee it being used that often, but it basically means that by default the site will change as you resize your browser. So you can turn that off if you want. Uh, a scroll bar to appear. Then we have our light and dark color scheme. You can upload your logo right here. You just add the file and click use this image. Same thing with fav icon and the backgrounds. So the backgrounds are actually located in the files under miscellaneous background patterns so you can upload any of these uh, six background uh, images that are included with the theme and then you have the cool things which are the background colors heading colors all these are done right here you can change them and see what what uh, gets changed we also have our body font so by default we have Helvetica if you wanted to change any of these to any of the Google you know, font faces you can do so. Uh, done right here. Then we have font sizes. All this should be pretty self explanatory. We're just trying to give you options for adjusting your theme. Then slider, same thing. Uh, it's broken into the three different types of sliders you can have. They'll have text in front of them and explain exactly what they do. And then finally, under tools. Uh, we have a bit of SEO at the top if you want to go that route. You can also download a plugin that'll do all that for you. This just kind of gets your basic things done if you kind of want to uh, don't want to worry about it too much. Then you can add your Google Map or Google Analytics tracking code, customize your 404 error messages, and then if you wish, you can add some custom CSS and JavaScript. So that's the options panel. It's pretty pretty simple just trying to give you as many options without uh, making it too overbearing.